geared up to deliver the gamut of delay-based effects, Color Copy is a VST audio unit and AAX plug-in effect inspired by the Bucket Brigade delay devices that found popularity in the 70s and 80s. Let's take a tour. The searchable patch library is accessed via the presets button. Here the presets are yours to explore and add to, each one tagged by category, application, character and author, and assignable to any of eight colour-coded favourites folders. To get a handle on Colour Copy's capabilities and sound, it's well worth spending some time working through the presets with a variety of sources. Basic levelling is handled by the input and output knobs. The input can be overdriven for a touch of analogue distortion, and activating the makeup button sees output automatically adjusting to compensate for changes made to input. Over on the right, width narrows the stereo image down when reduced, ultimately to mono. Mix sets the dry wet balance. And HQ kicks in oversampling for higher fidelity at the expense of CPU cycles. Fundamental delay time is set using the time base menu, which offers four absolute values one millisecond, one hundredth of a second, one tenth of a second, and one second, and host synced note values from two bars to a thirty second note. The three shortest absolute times make colour copy ideal for chorus and flanging effects. The rate knob scales the delay time by anywhere between 25 and 400%, facilitating smooth modulation of the delay time around the time base, all the way down to a quarter of a millisecond or up to 8 bars at any tempo. We'll come back to that modulation later. central display shows the full delay time period, as determined by time base and rate, with markers indicating the note divisions within it. You can see the whole thing stretch and compress as the delay time is changed. The L and R handles represent the left and right delay tabs. By default, they're positioned to sound at the end of the delay line, i.e. the final capacitor, as you'd expect. But you can shorten each one independently by dragging them to the left or clicking on the timeline directly. Hold the Shift key for fine adjustment, or Command or Control to snap to the nearest synced note value. What's important to understand is that the taps don't set the time between delays, but rather determine the delay between the dry signal and the first echo. Like the rate parameter, the tap handles can be modulated to shift the echoes back and forth, as we'll also see later. The regeneration knob routes the output back to the input to create a feedback loop. Use this to extend the single left and right delay taps into a series of decaying echoes.
care though is when it gets above about 70%, the feedback can start to build up upon itself. If this happens, hit the panic button to kill the feedback circuit, then lower the regeneration. Another way to keep the feedback under control is by bringing Color Copy's ducking feature into play. This employs an envelope follower to attenuate the whole delay line whenever a signal is present at the input. Or just the feedback signal, maintaining the essential stereo impression created by the initial taps, but suppressing the feedback repeats for a less cluttered sound. Ducking threshold is adjustable from minus 48 to plus 24 dB and three response speeds are available. Feedback coloration section applies under the hood distortion, filtering and dynamics processing to the feedback circuit to imbue the sound with five types of saturation. The color knob morphs continuously between them, from the politely filtered rezo and bright sparkle, through the heavily filtered fuzz and transient emphasizing snap, dark, bottom-heavy dusk. The frequencies of the filters deployed by the coloration circuit are adjusted using the brightness control The saturation knob sets the amount of coloration and the floor switch toggles between a hardware BBD style noise floor and a much lower one. Use the latter if modern cleanliness is a priority. Color Copy's architecture features two configurable routing stages for a variety of processing styles. The first determines how the mono or stereo input is connected to the left and right delay lines and comprises regular stereo routing, left to right and right to left, and summed mono to left, right or both. After that, the feedback routing stage allows for direct stereo flow, cross feedback, or partially mixed output back into both inputs, and can be inverted for a thinner, more hollow sound at very short delay times. The rate, tap position or amplitude can be modulated by the onboard LFO for all sorts of effects including chorus, tremolo and auto panning. 
and like a real analog BBD, on-the-fly changes to delay time and consequently pitch are supremely smooth and fluid, so you can get as wild with your modulations as you want with no digital glitches or stepping. The LFO outputs a sine or triangle waveform and runs at rates from 0.05 to 20 Hz, with the depth control setting the amount of modulation applied. The two DYN screw heads dial in positive or negative modulation of LFO frequency and depth, sourced from an envelope follower at the input, for dynamically responsive wobbles and shifts. The stereo phase knob offsets the phases of the left and right channels, generating a panning style movement between the two, as visualised by the green and red LEDs. The two rate modulation settings differ in that rate keeps the modulation amount centred on the current delay length, while Rate Plus is far more extreme, covering the full 25 to 400% range. Last but not least, Color Copy's key control and freeze functions lend it even more creative power, especially when used together. Activating key control sets incoming MIDI note values to modulate the delay rate, speeding it up as the note pitch rises, and enabling Color Copy's delays to be played like an instrument, thanks to its elastic analog pitch shifting. Clicking the freeze button meanwhile loops the current contents of the delay line, repeating it endlessly until disengaged. When frozen, changes to regen and feedback coloration have no effect, but manual tweaking and modulation of delay times via key control and or the LFO still work. Just the thing for crazy effects and strange soundscapes. So that's Color Copy in a nutshell. Download the demo at uhe.com and thanks for watching.